Hey, what's going on, you guys? Um, I keep getting emails, and uh, I'm just going to do it that way. I'll stop getting the emails. If you guys could see my inbox on the same question, uh, I don't know why you guys keep asking me, but anyways, it's how to remove the governor off of your uh, super pocket bike. I have an X18, and uh, I'm, what I'm the first thing I'm going to do is remove the left uh, fairing, left panel. And you know, you guys have bolts there, I already took out two. But anyways, you get your wrench, get it on the other side of this, get your screwdriver, or your um, electric screwdriver in this case, and uh, you know, put it here and then take out each bolt. So um, there's two up here, and then these ones, and then also under here, there's a total of five bolts. One, two, three, and then there's two across, four, five. So I'm gonna take all of those off, and revealing the air hose that's attached to your engine and that's where the governor is. So that's what I'm going to do really quick. I'm going to take this off and then uh, I'll, I'll edit it so you now see where I'm going to unscrew and take the governor off. But um, yeah, you guys have been asking me to do it. I don't know why. There's another video I think Casper Grams 1000. He has a video of it. There's another guy that has a video of it on how to take it off. Well, I, I will confess. I'll admit that guy's video is, is pretty terrible. It's very dark and it's shaky. It almost looks like he's on a roller coaster. And, you know, so I, I, I'll do it. You know, maybe you guys like my videos a little bit better. So, um, yeah, that guy that has that real dark, shaky video, it's almost like, uh, like he didn't even watch his own video. Because if he saw his video before he uploaded, he would see that you can't see anything. It's so goddamn dark. I mean, I, I don't know, it's not like we have a, a night vision or something. But anyway, so I'll do it really quick. This will be a short video. So the first thing you want to do is take off the left panel. So you're going to remove this. All right. Okay, you guys, so I got the left uh, fairing off of my X18. And um, there you go. That's where the governor is, right there. On this, this piece right here, this is, um, you know, airflow to your engine. And obviously the governor's a metal piece inside there and it's just halfway open. It's only halfway not allowing maximum airflow to the engine. So, you know, just like something being choked, it's not gonna run very well. Or it's not gonna run to its full potential. The bike runs fine, but um, for better airflow, you know, and to go maybe a little bit faster, not so much that you're just gonna go super crazy fast, but what'll happen is um, you'll notice it's just running better and smoother and, uh, Especially when you let off the gas, it won't uh, slow down right away like zzzz, you know, it'll, um, it'll actually just have a nice flow to it. So anyways, there's only two screws, okay? One right here, and then on the opposite side, one right there. So that's it, you take your Phillips, you undo that, go there, undo that one, and then you take this off and there'll be a metal plate. So I'll take it out and I'll show you guys. But that's all it is. It's only two screws. That's it. The easiest way to get to it is removing the left, um, left side of the fairing. And that's all it is. One and two. Try and zoom in a little bit better. But any of you guys that have taken your bike apart, you know exactly where it is. So that's all it is. Two screws. One and two. That's it. Uh, let me just go over here and get a little another perspective for you. And uh, there it is. There's a screw on top. That's the screw on the bottom. One, two. That's it. Okay, you guys, so once you undo the two screws, you're left with this. This is the half, and um, it's just this metal piece right here. It's a little tin piece. Take it out. It's like it's kind of glued in there a little bit. Just kind of wiggle it. You know, don't break it. Keep it in case you need it later. And then that's it. You put the two screws back in, and uh, then you're all done. Put your bike back together. So that's all it does. It just doesn't allow maximum airflow. That's it. As you can see, it cuts it off a little bit right there instead of just being a complete circle. So that's it, just two screws. It's real easy to get to after you take the left side of the fairing off. Some guys have done it with long screwdrivers, leaving the bike complete and going through the front. For me, it's just easier doing it this way. 
So take it off and then put your two screws back on and that's it. And it's just better airflow to the bike. It's not like you're you're gonna gain 20 horsepower off of it, but uh, it'll run a, it'll run a little better and a little smoother, and uh, it's just not gonna constrict the airflow. So a little bit better for the bike. So all right, you guys, that's it. That's how to remove the governor. So I guess I won't be getting any more emails on that. All right, you guys, I'll put this back together, and that's it. Okay, you guys, that's it. So my bike's back together. Here's the uh, governor. Feels like really cheap, like a little foil piece or tin or something. But here's the governor and uh hello governor and that's the piece you know if it were all the way open then it'd have maximum airflow and again you know this piece is up like that so it's constricting it so you don't get maximum airflow so you don't reach uh the full potential of the bike and uh so that's how you remove the governor off the x18 super pocket bike i hope that video was a little bit better than that one guys who shot it in his closet and you can't even see and Wow, it was really terrible. But there it is, that little piece. My bike's back together. I'm gonna go for a ride and uh, enjoy my bike. Been working hard on it lately. So, um, all right, you guys. Again, if you guys have any other questions about uh, my bike, the paint, the stickers, decals, reverse camera, um, the HID kit I installed on the bike, all of that, you know, it's all uploaded. I have the videos all on my, uh, just hit more from or, look on my channel and um, yeah, thanks for watching you guys. All right.